killing thing, but I did it again. What's the use? <laughs> oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Good morning. It looks like uh, old Scary Mooch is out or whatever the name's Scary. <laughs> and it's funny because um, right after he came in office saying that, he, oh, he, well, he, oh, I, I love me, Trump. They were showing clips of where he had previously, I think it was on, um, it was, I think it was Streetwise, something to do with the stock market that he was, um, show they have. And he was talking about, like, he was talking bad about Trump. And anyway, so he's out. And it looks like they got a new general. Uh, looks like they got somebody in there that's going to put some structure since it's all chaos. Now you know why Trump's business all went bankrupt, you know. And he's like, I don't understand why the way he's talking to um, people in the Senate, the Republicans, um, over his failed leadership, you know, when it comes to um, health care. Because, you know, he's the president. He states the agenda. Uh he leads, which he cannot do, because he has no experience in really uh, understanding uh, the structure and the reason why he, he doesn't understand what the hell he's doing, basically. That's what I think. And you could see, you know, like, you know, yeah, he puts his children in there, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's he's got at least he got he's got at least you know 17 to 20 years on his kid on that first kid. I don't know, you know, about the other one, but he's got a few years on these kids. So obviously he's not guiding them or leading them correctly either. Otherwise, you wouldn't have someone like Donald Jr. Um, just giving out all his tweets. That's that's really incriminating. I think, you know, um, Donald Jr., uh, I don't know what he's saying in the closed meeting. Uh, if he might be perjuring himself, trying to cover his ass. Um, you, you know, so we don't know what, he, what, what he's doing. But we do know that, um, that there was a meeting with, with, with the Donald Jr., in Trump's tower um, with some Russian people and um, from his tweets or his emails, that's what it was, from his emails, it, we see that um, he um, uh, was highly involved with trying to get uh, more information on Hillary Trump, uh, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Trump, can you imagine that? <laughs> Hillary Clinton, you know what I'm saying? They were like, they were trying, you know, they were using their propaganda. Oh, she got emails. She got 3,000 emails. Uh, yeah, let's look at them. You know, she has a special service. Meanwhile, he's trying to get a special service or trying to have Russia use their uh, communication systems, intelligence systems, uh, 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 use their their email system to bypass American stuff to go straight to Moscow. Now, what I don't know how old Eric is. I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't think he knows his dad. I think he just met his dad when he got grown, and his dad is just not guiding at all. His dad has no structure. You can see how he runs the White House. So he didn't. He didn't structure these kids. They were just. The, the mom waves in them. You know. So, it's obvious because we already have experience, you know, through the history of the way Trump runs his business, that we already know that uh, he's going to put the United States in bankrupts. Um, I think that Congress did an excellent job going ahead and putting sanctions on Russia. You know, Russia's acting like a little hurt child, you know. Uh, I don't know what, what 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 business we get from Russia besides them immigrating all these Russians over here. I, you know, and they're in the prostitution and 
uh, money laundering, uh, and, and, and basically um, running different cons to take money from Americans and siphon money out of America. Basically, that's all Russia, you know, Putin wants to do is like enrich himself. You know, he's all very, very rich, living very nice. That's why he doesn't want to leave his positions he's in. And plus, who's going to, has he really been like molding anybody to go in that position? But I think Trump, with the way he has tried to run the business of the government, the first six months of his presidency has, um, I, I would say that it, it pretty much made him impotent. Um, uh, because we're going to have to continue to run the government regardless. Um, we have homeland disasters like in Florida, you know, with the weather. Uh, we, we're having a heat wave, we're dreadfully hot, um, droughts, fires. Um, and then, you know, that's, that's just in small regions of the United States. And then you have the rest of the world. And Trump and his daughter and his son and son-in-law, they're not equipped mentally to be able to comprehend the business of running government because they're in the business of causing harm and hurt to people to get money. You know, uh, they can't even comprehend not causing harm or hurt to somebody to make a profit. And I think a lot of a lot of companies <clears throat> now you know you could just talk to some of their employees on the phone. Employees on the phone talk to you like, you know, well you you, you know, you, you got to do business, you got no place else to go. You know, we they broke up Ma Bell so we, so they, they uh, so the big corporation wouldn't have a monopoly, you know. They, they bust up the, the American auto industry because black people was driving Cadillacs. And, and the one thing you could get another black person pissed off at is like, oh, they, I ain't getting no Cadillac. Niggas be riding Cadillacs. I heard black people say that, you know. You know, uh, when, instead of saying, wow, you know, like they're really, we had, we had, you know, and then they, that's when they made uh, marijuana. Yeah, uh, uh, illegal. You had to test it in the thing. That was the one way to get rid of the last of the manufacturing in the United States. That's the only reason why. And plus, people would grow their own marijuana. You know, um, uh, the government wants to uh, uh, be in control of um, the goods that come in. You can see our, 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 our the way our food situation is. You know, they, they had to destroy and kill every buffalo and kill all the wildlife because otherwise people would live off the land and they wouldn't need the government. They would, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, I remember like my Aunt Lurleen, who passed away in 97, 2008. Um, she used to recycle every freaking thing. I don't think that she, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't, they didn't create cr trash like they did, you know, and like, even if that people did dig a ditch on the side and put the trash in, it was stuff that was biodegradable. It was stuff, you know, that that could come, uh, that you could use as compost. They would compost down, you know, opposed to like pampers and plastic bottles, you know, that we have now. And uh, you know, so that 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 is, so, you know. But it was all to make us dependent, you know what I'm saying? You have to go to the grocery store to buy your food, you know? Because, like, I, I, I remember, like, people around here were talking about how Mr. Water Guy, my uncle, uncle um, Eugene, you know, used to sell, you know, watermelons and, you know, vegetables and fruit. They had chickens and, you know, you had goats and everything. And, um... And, you know, like the only thing you probably would need to, to get from the white man is some salt from the store, you know, um, or, you know, if you know, but it, or, or you could, you know, you could get salt from the, the, the black community too. And they did a lot of what you would call extracting salt from the ocean in a way, just letting, taking ocean water and basically, uh, you know, letting it. Uh, evaporate or either by 
quickening with a fire or just letting it evaporate, you know, we did on old like nylons and, and crystal be there and knock it out. But you know, you, you like, or you could just let it sit, but you want to have it sit on something like maybe a uh, wax paper or something where you could get it off. Or, well, not wax paper because they should use heat, but anyway, never mind. But that you know, there was numerous ways you know, you could use the coffee filter, but there's neutral ways to just let the water sit out that they would also wouldn't have to go and buy salt, you know, uh, uh, as they would say from the white man. Nowadays, we have to, well, anyway, so like, well, alluding to with my uh, uncle Water Valley was like, you know, like I heard him talking about, oh, yeah, you know, like, you know, we used to wait for him to come and, you know, he would front my mom, you know, uh, um, he's one of people that had like 17 kids, your mom had 17 kids or something. But, like, she would and front them, you know, like, let them get groceries now and pay later. But, I, and they have the land, too. And I was like, like, so I was talking to this old girl on the porch, and I'm like, why did they just grow their own? She had 17 kids. Now, all those kids wanted to do at that time, at least, you know, was to be, you know, gangsters, you know. And this was, like, in the 50s. So, like, they're quite old now. And, um. You know, and now their kids, you know, like, like, they graduated from Mitchell High, fail these children miserably. But anyway, which is something else that I don't understand why they don't want to fix our schools. Well, I do understand why. Because if they fix our schools, if people just had victory gardens, if people went back and started being more self-sufficient, you know, more dependent on themselves, you know how they say when you're on an airplane for the mother to put the oxygen on first before you put it on the child, that's the same way out in the hood it should be, these mothers should make themselves first, women are not considered first, they're whores, they're dads, they're, they're the side chick, you know, you have all these negative tendencies, like I was at the store and this one lady's bragging about some guy with like 22 kids and he's got multiple wives with him. And I'm like, he, you know, he sounds real nasty. He sounds like this walking ass kid. He's like, you, I know you got 20 women. I don't care. Or, or, I mean, you got 20 kids. And let's just say with the, with, with the 20 kids, you just got five women, right? Okay. You know, there's four weeks in a month, right? So let's just say you probably seeing one or two of them like every two months. She's gonna if 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 it, if 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 you if you if if you're with a man with the mindset that it's okay for him to have another woman, you better believe that she thinks it's okay for her to get some too, some D too. You know what I'm saying? What she's supposed to do? If you if you were a sexually deviant in men, you know what I'm saying? Uh 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 uh, uh he's gonna want a sexually deviant woman. You know what I'm saying? So like there's you know so there's gonna be STDs. You know, um, so like, I was like, is he still alive? And she's like, no, I'm like, I don't think so. It, you know, and it's just, and it's not me trying to be cruel or hateful. It's just a simple fact that we do have uh, a lot of STDs. We still have AIDS. Um, it, you know, we still have, um, you know, so a man running around and being very promiscuous is not sexy, at least to me. I'm sure it's very attractive to a lot of women. I just don't know those women, you know, and, um, and I'm just, I'm sure that women are just overjoyed and tickled to death to be lied to, uh, deceived and objectivized, right? And I'm being facetious. But anyway, um, um, uh, and see, Trump is rubbing off on us. We want to make sure I clarify this, opposed to the way he, Makes things more uh, 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 chaos, chaotic. <laughs> so he's got the whole White House is pretty much in chaos because his his their thinking is chaotic. Uh, their attitudes is, is like schizoid. It's all over here. It's like one minute it's this, the next minute it's that. We don't know who uh, he's gonna be from moment to uh, uh, moment to moment. Is he gonna be this guy? That's all, you know, I'm not going to touch Social Security. I'm not going to touch health, uh, uh, um, 
this, that, uh, with the, uh, I'm not going to, you know, with the LTG, oh, so I'm pissed that up, I'm just like, we're, we're not, you know, I'm not going to mess with the lesbian, the gays, and, oh, trans, it's just too much, it's just too many labels, <laughs> it would be nice, but, I don't know, can, can, can they just be like, like a nice name, I don't know, daffodils, I like daffodils, but anyway, it's like, it's the, it's the, call them the Daffodils Club or something. So, anyway. So now they got somebody in there that's going to, you know, make them go by procedures and change the order, you know. Um, and that was another thing me and girl was talking about on the porch. It's like, even when you come, like, you have somebody come in your house to stay in, you got to have rules. You know, if, if you're a mom, you're giving your kids rules. If you're a dad... You get your 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 children rules. Where where these men are mistaken is they try to give their wife rules. You know, grown woman that takes away and takes away not only the woman's power from the child, but it causes a a a a, a, a rift in the family anyway, because you don't have the two uh, structures on the same page, and that's what we have in the government now. We don't have them on the same page. You know, Trump's just now finding out that we got 17 different departments that can investigate his ass. You know, and and, and you can fire so and so and so, but these people are career people. People people depend on these jobs in the government. You know, not to honor Trump, but to feed their families, just to, to have shelter for their families. To, to have clothes, to buy cars so they could go to work, you know, gas for the car. Uh, all this is getting from their job, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them take their job very seriously because they take the welfare of their family seriously and the welfare of themselves. You know, they chose to, to work in the government, you know, but the underlying reasons why everybody is doing everything is because we're in a capitalist society, and a capitalist society is a slave society that is dependent on the people to to give away all their freedoms to to you know pursue happiness in a sense to be able to live off the land you know to 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 to, to live off the science of physics for your survival. You don't have that anymore. Matter of fact, <clears throat> we have people now in the government that is totally against science. Science is what, 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 the understanding of science all the way to physics, the understanding the uh, all and everything, uh, um, is what makes us the difference between the chimpanzees, uh, you know, in some cases, there's exceptions, like in Trump's, he's closer to a orangutan uh, mentality, and uh, you could see it in his business actions, uh, and I think the sooner uh, we do some more investigation, and uh, 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 well, I think it's time that we sort of, you know, hold in some of the investigation, look down and and re and go over what we have, make some notes on where the money is going to, who the money is going to, where, how often. With whom, to whom, who are their connections, who are their conversations, who are their dwellings that they, they're at, and what type of building, business holdings do these people that associated with the Russia and, and Trump uh, and, uh, and their family collusion and getting elected. Uh, uh, and they also showed, um, I think it was in Las Vegas, where they had some um, um, internet hackers that you can't hack the election machines. And it's the way that they have the election machines. Oh, each one is separate, and so they're different. No, that's chaos. That's that you know that that you know. <clears throat> it, common sense would say even if we do do a a a, 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 a computerized election or whatever. You know, with a little booth like that, that you should have a paper trail anyway. 
you know, it's like, just like when uh, it's like in the office, a lot of times, you know, people are just getting rid of those regular files. You need those regular files. You need something that that, but you know, it it's just a matter that we have a bunch of greedy people. As an example, as the Trump, as president, he's a greedy, thirsty, selfish, uh, treasonous traitor that I think made a lot of deals with Russia and made the biggest deal of his life to become president. And even he lost his freaking mind when he found out that he pulled off this big ass con. But, you know, I don't think that, you know, uh, um, that he, he, I, I think we should just, um, I, I think we should impeach Trump and, um, make him go live in Russia, exile him, like, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, you love Putin so much, good, go to Russia, but I think we absolutely have to get him out of the White House for the security of the United States, for the security of our constitution, you know, we have problems with North Korea, Trump is not, uh, um, he's not the one, you know, they see, you know, Korea sees uh, uh, us with Trump as being weak, we need to get that weak punk ass convict out of, out of there before he does more harm than he already has done.